All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you in another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Double Shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. All right, and for those that don't know, the Apostle Gabar's video or a Salaka YouTube page was recently shut down. Okay, and it's funny because it's funny, but it's not funny. Um, I was just watching a video that he was uh, that he posted about DJ Vlad. Okay, um, versus um, Godfrey. You no, know, comedian Godfrey was basically, you know cursing out dj vlad okay and he was breaking everything down beautifully okay and i was uh had about 20 15 20 minutes left on the video and i realized after working and coming back to the video i realized i wasn't able to find the video anymore okay so i found out basically when i saw in the news feed that the, that the apostles page was recently shut down okay and reality set in for me you know it set in for me. So I want to bring out some precepts. First precept I want to bring out is um, Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For sudden, suddenly, okay, when you least suspect it, okay, because what wrath is coming, okay, extreme anger from the Lord is coming. And with that, it's going to be brought for martial law, race riots, you know, um, Famine, pestilences at all time high, more earthquakes, more death and destruction, World War Three, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, will be made mandatory. All these things are going to come suddenly. And the word being shut down or, or uh, the apostle uh, Gabar's page being shut down happened suddenly. You know. So it says. Sirach 5 and 7, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. See, that's going to be the two-thirds of our people that didn't want to take heed. Okay, the ones that didn't want to uh, use the prophets the way you were supposed to use the prophets. Because what, as the scriptures say, matter of fact, let me get that. I'm going to bring out this precept here because, you know, the Lord set up prophets for a particular reason, to warn you, teach you. So you can have a, a guide on what to do in the times that we're in. Okay. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his words and misused his prophets. And who are they? Two thirds of our people. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the scattered Israelites who look like these heathens. All right, but our Israelites, they mock the messengers, man. Okay, because what? This is not of us. All right, this is this is of you. How about Shimei was shy? Okay, it says and despise his words, meaning they hate, they hate his words. You know, they don't want to take heed. They don't want to um, take uh, heed to the warning that the servants and prophets are are given through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. It says and misuse his prophets. Okay. Until the wrath of the Lord, which wrath means extreme anger, arose against his people. OK, and that's why the Lord said, give them warning from me, because the Lord is bringing wrath. All right. One of the major ways he's bringing wrath is uh, bringing forth death and destruction by way of the sword that he blessed the Edomites with. OK, the so-called white people. OK. It says until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Till there was no remedy. Okay. And that's why we're telling our people, as Sirach 5 and 7 says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put it not off from day to day. You don't want to procrastinate with this. You know, like the majority of our people like to procrastinate with everything else in life. But this is what you don't want to procrastinate with. It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And and I felt it, you know, in the spirit, I felt suddenly. When, when, when it was least expected that the Apostles page was just shut down. I was literally just watching a video. 
Okay? And, and, and it's going to, it's going to, it's preparing us, Lord willing, we're part of that number. It's preparing us for the bigger scale of things, the bigger scheme of things, man. Okay? Because what? The dollar's going to crash all of a sudden when you least expect it, you know? And what? It's going to just be an all out, full fledged war, man. Anarchy. Okay? It reads on For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Okay? And, and this false security because what people rely on their money, their, their nice houses, you know, um, their, their 401k or whatever, their jobs. Okay. And they rely on these things as security, but they're going to realize how much of false security and how much those things can't save you. Okay. It says, and perish in a day of vengeance. See, the Lord is coming for payback. Okay. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh Barashim, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Okay? Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, which a famine of bread and a thirst for water is coming because the scriptures say it. That's one of the plagues the Lord is sending in his wrath, in his vengeance. It says, but of hearing the words of the Lord. See, it's going to come a point in time where the Lord is going to shut down his word and we're getting a glimpse of it. Brothers' pages being shut down. Okay, the apostles' um, pages are, are going on strike. The Apostle Gabar's page recently got shut down. Okay. Important. Uh, well, that just lets you know that, you know, they're trying to put restrictions on this, man, so that eventually they can have a reason or getting closer to shutting the whole thing down, man. You know? These are these are things that's coming, which is prophesied in the Bible, and we need we we need this word, right? Okay, well, for the ones our people who actually have faith to believe, okay. Let me read the rest of this and bring out another precept. Um, Amos chapter eight, verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. All right, and that's the ones of our people who. We're procrastinating, playing around, mocking and scoffing, misusing the prophets. OK, well, there's a such thing called too late. These people are going to be running around all over town. Camping out, trying to figure out what the men of the Lord are. We well, see the Lord's going to shut all that down come soon, man. You know, we, and again, we're getting a real glimpse of it. We're getting a glimpse of reality. You know. The book of. Let's see, the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 verse 6 it reads and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times all right all the knowledge that pertains to the nation of israel how we supposed to conduct ourselves how we're supposed to prepare for the times is coming the warnings you know the prophecies you know what names to call on who to call on you know scripture say everything are written for time was written for our learning the true education for the nation of Israel is find, found in the Bible, okay? And to apply that education means wisdom, okay? Because what? Wisdom is common sense, all right? But majority of our people, they don't fear you. How about you, never shy? So as the scriptures say, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, okay? When you go into the word stability, it reads the state of being stable, being firm, steady, um, strength, Security, safety, a balance of mind, mental health, soundness. OK, so all these words go back to uh, stability. So to have a, a, a mental state of a, a balanced state of mind when all hell breaks loose, you have to have the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures. That's why through the spirit, I said we need this word because we truly need this word. And what these, these this is the only time that you're able to truly get this word, man, since the um, since uh, Abba Bivens been on the scene. OK, in the 60s. OK, down to uh, um, high priest, Arya, high priest, Yaquab, King Masha, down to uh, Apostle Tahar onto his perspective order. You know, so this is the best time the, and the only time you're able to you're going to be able to get this word, man, before all hell breaks loose, because. Is right around the corner. Okay? It says, in strength of salvation, this, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay? 
And why is the fear of the Lord is, is his treasure? Because fear is wisdom. You got to first and foremost fear the Lord in order to receive the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures as uh, pursuant to Proverbs 1 and 7. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get that. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge found in the Bible. The education. You know, our, our nationality. Everything that we need to know to live, man. To be stable. All right, which is being taught through the true servants of prophets the Lord has set up on the highways and byways. Okay? Which all of that is getting ready to be shut down soon. It says, but fools, all right, that's two-thirds of our people, despise, despise meaning hate, wisdom and instruction. They hate to use, to, to uh, learn about what, what truthfully is their nationality. Okay? So therefore, they, 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 because they hate it, they don't have common sense. They're not going to have discernment, you know, any, any uh, proper judgment in these times and in the times that's coming forth. And instruction goes back to warning. And they're not going to take heed to warning because they're not taking heed to the Lord because the servants of prophets are speaking through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, starting with the apostles and the elders of the great millstone on down, you know? One more precept I'm going to bring out and I'm going to close out on this. Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And one of the, the key points that I want to bring out in the scripture is while he may be found. While he may be found. Because a point in time, this word will not be accessible going forth, coming soon. Salakia. All right, because the Lord is getting ready to shut it all down, man. Okay, and if you don't have this word and you haven't been studying, meditating, praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, being diligent in this truth, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. You know, basically repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, for the ones of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the scattered Israelites that look like these heathen nations. Okay, turn back to your power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power he will abundantly pardon. You know, the Lord's going to blot out your sins, because we need that, man, in the times of refreshing when our Lord and Savior comes. Okay, so with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Barashem, Yahweh Shai, Barashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone on down for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akimah there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.